from the uh, uh, copper mines of the Congo, Katanga Copper Crescent, um, we have an underlying matrix of predominantly uh, a malachite. Now this seems to be the malachite um, or, or barat which has been replaced by malachite. If you look at the crystal form of the malachite in these cross sections. Coating that would be chrysocala and sitting on top of the chrysocala we have druzy, tiny druzy quartz crystals. Now I can't clearly see what the little green crystals on this matrix are. But um, we, from, from Tenke Fungurumu, I'd expect to find some Vesigiorite or, or perhaps Pseudomalachite, which would be a blue-green. So those are the associations I'd expect here. Um, but please look at my description um, for my uh, uh, take on this. Please note that my IDs are purely visual, visual and based on my knowledge. Now this is a relatively new deposit, so... We, we can't be 100% sure um, as to my uh, IDs. Um, from a display point of view, well, it could be displayed various ways. I, I quite like showing off this almost a bot word, which would be um, a, like a stalagmite stalactite of Krasikala, which has been cut by the Druzy Quartz. Show off that section. Could be put on a display. Cross section here, you've got malachite in the center, you've got a thin crust of chrysocala around it, and there's some druzy quartzes on top of it. We displayed all the way around. Uh, there we have a back look at those, those little stalagmite stalactites of the chrysocala coated with the druzy quartz and then dusted with what I suspect to be the right? Um, the ziggurite is a rare mineral from the Congo, yet at this particular deposit it seems quite abundant. It's Tenke Fungurumo, now to me a relatively new deposit in the Katanga Copper Crescent.